The new century also saw the building of AME St. John's Episcopal Church on land that was Worthington's first subdivision, an area that the Reverend Uriah Heath founded in the 1850s for retired Methodist ministers and free African Americans. The building was built about 1914. It was a little small church. I remember being taken to the church at a very young age. The AME Church has always been well respected within the Worthington community. They have been supportive in whatever way that they could. And although we were welcomed at other churches, we were not refused attendance, but we loved our little church and being together and the manner in which we could worship in our own way. First, the Worthington community had no problem with race. People of different color lived all over the area. But then as the builders came in, then they started to say they were not selling to blacks. And that made a problem. And some of the older whites as well as the blacks said, what do you mean? It's always been an open community. If you wanted to get a home mortgage, uh, you couldn't get a, a, a federal um, insurance on that mortgage if you lived in a racially mixed neighborhood. In response, some African Americans built their own development outside the city limits. We had heard about uh, Bob Johnson and Beer having land on Flint Road, and so we decided to look at the area, and we did. We were impressed, and we decided to buy a lot. But as the civil rights movement gained momentum, Worthington had to face its first race-related crisis. The Worthington Human Relations Council was started by my husband, Reverend Harold B. Jones. It addressed human relation problems within the Worthington community. Everyone was asked to sign a paper that was published in the Worthington News saying that they would not object to blacks living next door to them. Had it not been for this council, I probably, my husband and I probably could not have purchased the home that we did in Worthington Estates. And we're still the only, I'm still the only family on my street. Of color. Of color. Yes. My in this room. However, um, I have to say that my neighbors have been wonderful. And I've seen three generations come in since we've been in there. And, uh, and neighbors are great. 